In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to scrape an entire YouTube video with no code. Have that video summarized into key takeaways and then how you can use unique GPT agents to take that summary and craft it into some unique content trained on your own personal expertise. And that will go out to Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, X, whatever you want. If you want to summarize a YouTube video automatically, you normally either have to do that manually or potentially pay thousands just to get some automation software. But I've got you back. After hours, I basically Basically was able to create this system where you just enter a URL onto a Google Doc and then the entire automation runs by itself and all the prompts the resources and the agents in this video are all available down below in my school community you can even grab the template for this automation so you don't even have to build it out and with that in mind let's grab a coffee and jump straight in so I thought it'd be helpful just to show you briefly how this automation actually works so it all starts with a Google sheet uh, this one here and all we ever all you're ever gonna do in this video is enter a URL here, and that is it. Now, once you've entered that URL into the sheet, here's what happens. That then sends it to this GPT agent that has some really unique code and a prompt, which then runs and sends it to this zero code kit, which is essentially a no code like code runner. So this then runs a Python script completely automatically. And once that code's run, it then goes over to this other GPT agent, which is one of the YouTube formatted GPT. And what this GPT agent will do is send it up here, first of all, to this Google Doc. And what is in the Google Doc, you may ask? Well, the summary from the video. And let's say you're watching the content from your favorite creator and you just don't have the time. You can get these five key takeaways from that entire thing and then a detailed summary about what the video is about without having to read the literal whole transcript. And let me tell you, some of them are very, very long. Now that goes into Google Doc and that might just be what you want. You may just want to be kept up to date from your favorite creators and you just don't have the time to read it. That automation will run perfectly for you. If you then want to take it to the next level, let's say for example, I post this video and I think, great, I've built this YouTube video but I really wanna share it with my audiences on different platforms. Well, normally I would either have to chop this content up into text form and write it myself, but what this whole system here will do is transform that into something completely unique. And this is where the magic happens, right? This LinkedIn bot is trained on all of what is working and is viral currently in LinkedIn. So it's been trained on all the posts, it's got really specific instructions in terms of the word count, the hashtags, the formatting, it was a laborious process to create it, but it's there and it's already pre-programmed and ready to go. So that LinkedIn brain then is used with the entire summary. Once that then happens, it goes over to this automation here, which is gonna create a unique image for LinkedIn. And the cool thing here, when you're creating images, you can use this handy Dolly 3 prompt blueprint that I've made. It has all the aspect ratios for all the different platforms, LinkedIn, X, Instagram, Facebook, and it's just basically got every kind of style that you want, impressionism and a template prompt. Baroque, Cubism. So you basically scroll down, pick the one that you want, you copy the prompt, come back over, and that's all set up. So you can pick your own particular style. And then once that's done, it will then fire it over to Google Doc where I can review it and post it if I want to. And by the way, we'll update this prompt blueprint often and you can grab that down below in the school community. Now to build this automation, you only need four things. The first one, as you might have guessed, is Meg.com. I've got a link down below in the description. You can click that, sign up, and then get ready. And with Meg.com, you can run quite a few automations for free, so you don't even need to pay to get started. After that, we're gonna need an API from OpenAI. Um, you can basically sign up to ChatGPT Plus. That is $20 a month. And then essentially you're gonna deposit some money in there. You can deposit like $5 and it really, really is super cheap for automations unless you're going bananas. But it, honestly, I've run loads and it's not really cost me much at all. And then you're on a Google account so we can do Google Sheets, we can do Google Docs. I'm sure you've already got that. So that one's super straightforward. And then finally, you just wanna create an account with this website here. And this is gonna be the coding magic for us. So I've got, I've got the links down below so I don't have to read out this like a million <laughs> letter URL. And you see this page. And the cool thing about this is you get 25 runs of it completely free without even need to pay for anything. And so let's get started by building automation. And I will just say very, very quickly, one of the things I'm going to include in the next video is this whole process here where it will pour everything into a Google Doc, post it into LinkedIn, post it into X, Facebook, Instagram, and then we can actually come down here and click approve or retry. If we click approve, it will post automatically. If we click retry, that will then go back through the system and do it completely again to give a, di a different text if for some reason we're not happy with what that looks like. So I didn't want to make this video 50 minutes long, so just to let you know that one's coming next and if you want to see that automation, um, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell so you don't miss out on, on that video. So we're going to start by hacking up our Google Sheets. So we hit this big plush button here. We're going to look for Google Sheets. And again, this is a trigger that I'm using, but this could be anything you want, any trigger that you could possibly imagine. And what we're looking for here is watches new rows. So what this will basically do is every time a new row is 
added to this Google Sheet. It'll go, hey, hang on a minute, a row's been added, I need to do something about that. So we come down to Spreadsheet ID here, we click this one. Just to make it easy, I've got one Google Spreadsheet, YouTube automation's perfect. So what you wanna do first, I should say is, yeah, you wanna create this um, this template so that you've got something to, to link it to. And we set it up at the top here of the connection, so you just connect that, click a green in the tab, and then you'll be all set up. Now what happens there? So sheet name, come down, sheet one, uh, that's good if you've got different sheets and you're doing different kinds of automations. It's a little bit more complicated, but you don't need to worry about that right now. Then we come down and we'll set the limit to 20 and then we click OK. And just before we get started, let's say how often we want to run this automation. So for example, I might say, do you know what? I want to run this automation every... So say you want to run this automation every day to keep it more cost effective. But if you're in the kind of space where you want to get it out quickly, you can run it automatically or change that as you like. Excellent. Now that's done, now we want to add our GPT agent. So we click add new module. We're going to come down to chat GPT. Excellent. And then we're going to come down and we're going to find this wonderful message and assistant. Superb. Now this was the most difficult part of this automation to create. And I honestly, when I actually cracked it, I was so excited. because like, I finally done it. So what is going to happen here, we're going to give it some Python code, right? With a URL. And what we're telling this assistant is say, hey, I'm going to give you a URL. The only thing I want you to do is replace this URL with that URL and then run the Python code for us automatically. So that essentially, this is an in-between agent that understands code that will take our input, add the URL to it, and then send it over to our coding software. So then if we come back over to our assistant, we can see we've got URL coding bot, we've got all the instructions, and then we've got all this code down here. Essentially, this is the Python script that we're going to use. So then we're gonna come back over here we're going to select our coding bot if we haven't done that already. Come down to Assistant. So to create a new bot, all you do is you hit this shiny Create New Bot button at the top like this. We're going to give it a name. And let's just say we call this one YouTube Formatter. And then we enter the instructions in the code. You can come down to the model at the bottom. And the model that I want you to use in this one is GPT-4 Turbo. It could be the case that these other ones work as well. I guess I'm just speaking from experience about what I found works well and GPT-4 Turbo has not let me down. And literally once you've done that, it's created. It's literally that simple. These assistants are a stroke of genius. They're so, so, so good. So then we come down, we're gonna find our assistant and then we come over here and then we select YouTube Formatter. And then what's the message? The message is gonna be output from the Google Sheets row. So let's try one of my own videos. I'm gonna put my name on the line and we're gonna try one of my own videos. So let's go for this one, ChatGPT Explained Beginner Crash Course. And then we're gonna go to our YouTube checklist here. And what we're gonna do, all we're gonna do is come here, we're gonna hit enter, bam, we've got the YouTube link. And then we're gonna come back over to our automation. And then we're gonna say, hey, uh, we want this Google Sheet one to run, run this module only. And if we see this little one, that's good news. It means that it's worked and it's not red or flashing and stuff. And it's got all these cool URLs, perfect. So we'll come back, we'll trigger it again with a new URL. And now we've come back, we're gonna click on this one here and we need to give it the message. And the reason I want you to give a message first is run the points in the module individually because then it will also make it so much easier to find the thing that you're looking for. And then we decide which assistant we wanna use, which is gonna be YouTube Summarizer, so that's fine. And then we're gonna click on the message we want it to use. So if we come here, we click message and you can see here we've got YouTube URL A. And the brilliant thing about this guys is that once you just select A, you don't need to go and select all the individual columns. It will just keep on running automatically, which is excellent. We're gonna come over here and then we're gonna run the entire module once. So run that module once, excellent. Google Sheets has done that. And then our coding bot's working in the background to take that URL and transpose it into the Python script. And the beautiful thing about this guys is you don't need to think about Python. It's already done for you, so it'll just run and do its own thing. Fantastic, and that's then completed. And we come down here, we can see, we're gonna go down to the content. We bring this over here to the left so you can get a good view of it. Content, plus one, text, value, and there we go. You see, this is the exact code that we wanted, perfect. That is music to my ears. So, right, let me grab a quick drink of this. So the next thing we're looking for is zero code kit. Verified, excellent. So what we're gonna do is click on this beautiful one here. And essentially we're gonna type in Python and all you're gonna click is run Python code. Ace, and now we've got the connection set up and then we've got the Python, Python code. So we get rid of all this. And then what's the input that we want? We want the input from the previous assistant, right? So we come over, let me zoom out a tiny bit just so you can see. Okay, excellent. As you can see, when we're hovering over the message, this pulses on the left so we know what it pertains to in particular. And all we're gonna click, guys, is result here. So we click that, perfect, and that is it. How do you know if it works or not? Well, let's go back to Google Sheets and test it. So come up, copy, paste the URL, come back over to Integromat, 
let's run the whole operation. And by the way, if, you, if your screen ever gets complicated with the millions of uh, automations you're running, you can actually come down here and click auto align and it brings it back into a good flow, even if they're all over the place, so it's ace. So what we're gonna do is hit run once. Google Sheets has found it automatically, which is fantastic. And one of the cool use cases of this, imagine you're running a wine related business. I had a conversation with a gent who was doing exactly the same kind of thing in the wine space. Let's just say there's some news in the wine industry, right? And you wanna take that and share your own unique thoughts. Well, you can run it through this process, get an output, and once you've got the output, you can add your own unique aspects to it. So we've got the output here. So we click the plus one. This is the moment of truth. The reason this is running twice, by the way, is because I've added multiple fields to it. So we come down, let's have a look. This is the question, has it worked? Has this actually summarized a YouTube video? Well, we'll know in a second. Click plus, there we go. Look at this, the entire transcript. The entire transcript is exactly there. It's done it, it's completely done it. And all we ever had to do is enter URL and we've got the full transcript. But the magic didn't stop there. So we figured out how to get from a single URL to a full YouTube transcript. Now we kind of want to summarize it, right? So what we're going to do is add a new module. So click plus. Let's find those trusty ChatGPT assistants once again. Message an assistant. What assistant are we going to message this time? So then we come over to our YouTube summarizer bot. So I'm already through what this bot's going to do. So you'll be provided with the full transcript text for a video using only this information. Please generate the following outputs using Google Docs compatible formatting. Key takeaways, provide a bulleted list with five of the most important insights, conclusions, or pieces of actionable advice from the video. Use concise bullet points that focus on the central ideas. Include one relevant emoji at the beginning of each bullet point, apply the following format into the list. Key takeaways, prefix each bullet with a hyphen, add a blank line between the heading of the first bullet point, and then write a summary. So write a comprehensive summary of the video in approximately a thousand words, expand on key takeaways, include relevant supporting details and examples, organize the summary into logical paragraphs with clear transitions. I aim to cover all the main ideas whilst remaining concise. If the video is less than 10 minutes long, adjust the word count, and it goes on and just adds a little bit more information about leaving basically spaces and so that we can have the right kind of formatting and that everything makes sense. So what we do is from this document, we come up, we're gonna copy the whole YouTube summarizer bot, click correct new bot at the top, come down to instructions, enter it, come down, click GPT4 Turbo, call it YouTube Summarizer, and that's it. And we basically create the entire YouTube summarizing bot for us. So we come down, we're gonna click on assistant. The assistant that we want is a YouTube Summarizer bot, and then we're looking for the message, and the message, and this is really, really fun. This is why I love this serial code, whoever developed it, like massive kudos to you is we're gonna click on result and that's it. That's literally it, we're done. Let's test it again. So again, come back over. And I know this can seem a little bit repetitive, but I just want you to bear in mind that like, it's so good just to test these regularly, regularly as we go. So you don't build a million step automation and it all kind of comes uh, crashing down. Here, run once. Again, this then starts to run through the whole process. And guys, I just realized I gave this guy the wrong bot. So I gave it the YouTube summarizer. We actually want to give it the YouTube formatter. Okay, cool, perfect. And this is why it's good to run through so many times. And like, I want this to be a channel where I show you like live run throughs of things that go right, things that go wrong. So you can get like a, a good sense of like what it'll be like when you're doing it yourself. Um, great, so we click run once, it's come up, nothing's happened because nothing's been the Google Sheet. So come back, grab this come down, enter. Excellent, so Google Sheets has found the record, then goes through to OpenAI again, and we're running through the full process. So the question here is, it's found a URL. It's then converting it into Python code. The Python code runs, does the script, grabs the URL. Then it's gonna send it to the assistant, and the assistant is gonna reformat it in a great, easy to digest way that we can summarize the video and then be on with those. And just think how much time it's gonna save. You've got this craze with like 50 minute videos, You're like, dude, I just need the bare bones of it. This will just run the background and sort everything else out for us. Excellent, so that's worked. This is the moment of truth. We click the one over here. We're gonna come down to content, come down to plus one, come down to text, value, and look at this, key takeaways. All the five key takeaways. Utilize ChatGPT to free up time in business operations, allowing teams to focus on more value adding activities. Access and interact with ChatGPT, leverage summarize abilities, be cautious limitations, and play ChatGPT's extensive capabilities, blah, blah, blah. And then it goes down, explains everything that we had here, for example, all the, basically the full on demo that I gave. So now I've got a fully summarized version of my own video. What do we do next? Well, we're gonna add in a router. Uh, and this will just basically mean that if you wanna finish the automation here, you can do router, perfect. Route one is going to be doc. 
So Google Docs, show more. And what we're gonna do is scroll down and we're going to insert a paragraph to a document, perfect. What document are we gonna be using for that? Let's come over here so you can get a good look. Click on new document ID and we want it to be YouTube Summarizer. Perfect, and what is the appended text? Well, it's gonna be the result here. Can you see that? Result, key takeaways, perfect, done. And then we click okay. And that's it, and that's literally it. So now I'm gonna run the entire automation one more time. Amazing, and Google Docs has done it, perfect. We come down here, let's see what the output is. Then if we come to the YouTube Summarizer, we can see key takeaways uh, and summary. So it's done it. And then basically that doc will just keep on adding up more and more content as you go, whenever you put the URL in. And it's dope, this automation is working good. And I'm gonna show you how now he can take it to another level to automate the social media part of it. So what do we do at this stage then? Now I'll show you just for the sake of the video, out of respect for your time, one social media like link, and then you can know you can do the exact same process for all of them. So the next thing I wanna do is send it to a GPT agent, come down here, we go down again, message and assistant. And here we're gonna use our autonomous LinkedIn agent. I went over a lot of detail in this, my last video about automating social media, but as you can see, it's got all the different things that we need here. You basically specify the industry and it gives you all this incredible stuff to create a good prompt and it's got example two, three, four, five, all on good best practices. So what we do, we copy all of this, we come back, we then head over to our new GPT Playground, click create. Um, again, this one would call it La, you know, linked in bot. And then paste the instructions, come down, GPT-4, turbo, and you've created it. And look, it's brought all this stuff over with examples, so we're sort of ready to go. So then when we come back, we're gonna click on assistant, and then we come down to LinkedIn bot GPT-4 turbo, and the message is basically, what we're gonna do is grab the message from this thing here on the left-hand side. So the result, can you see right there the top result, and you can see it pulsing on the left, because the way this LinkedIn bot works, it's programmed in a way that basically you just give it the result and it will just create the LinkedIn post for you. So it's like perfect. But that's good, but do you know what? We don't just want the text, we want images, right? We need some images in this. So let me click a plus. We're gonna come back down here again to this. We're gonna go for, let's find this now, generate an image. Excellent. Now for this, we're gonna use Dolly 3, it's the most powerful model. And then we need a prompt, right? So let's come over to our Dolly 3 prompt blueprint, what we fancy. Maybe we go for a little bit of cubism, maybe, surrealism, expressionism. You know what, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for cubism. cubism. So all we do, copy this template prompt, then we come back over, we paste the prompt in, cool, and then we come down, and then we're just gonna say using this data. Now what data do we wanna use here? The key takeaways again, you got it put that one down there. And then what we need to do is specify the aspect ratio, right? So come back over to our Dolly guide, come up to the top, let's look for LinkedIn, what do we want? Well, we're gonna be posting a post image. So we'll go for a square on this. But obviously based on the kind of image you want, you can change that if you like. Okay, great. Aspect ratio. Perfect, look at that. Okay, great, let me bring that. I'm always conscious with you guys, we can see with this. Okay, cool, aspect ratio, perfect, great, done. Click okay, that's what we like to see. The next thing I'm gonna do then is export that to a Google Doc. So click another option, Google Doc. Let's click on insert a paragraph into a document. Uh, click on to choose file. And let's do this for LinkedIn content. Again, basically what you would do is just create this document called LinkedIn content or whatever you want if you wanna go down the Google Doc automation way of doing that. Come back over to our page. Wonderful, uh, LinkedIn content selected. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to unlink this and then we're going to clone come down here and then what we want to get is a router so come down router click on this guy here and then uh, let's get rid of its predetermined ones and then we're going to cast those two together perfect cool now let's run the whole automation again just so we can get the perfect part so come down chat gpt for beginners deactivate that for a second okay just while we're running this automation then we click run once and again it starts running its whole process in the background and you can see the automations get longer and longer and longer as we go. And by the way, this video was a suggestion from a member of the community, a subscriber to the channel. So if you've got ideas for automations that you'd like to see, let me know down below. And who knows, it may just be in the next video. Actually guys, as I've been just running this automation, it came back with a failure. And the point of failure was basically what was happening is that something I'd never seen before. So I wanna just share with you because I think it's important, is that the prompt for the image generator from this module here was over 4,000 characters, which is beyond it. So what I actually think is a better way to do it now that I'm looking at it, is to use 
this data here instead. So essentially what we do is we give it the LinkedIn version rather than the full huge 20 million paragraph summary, just so this won't fail for you ever again. So that's all included in that as well. So I've clicked that one again, click OK. Excellent, so these are working in the background, it's good. So now it's going through to the Whisper to create our image and then we'll be able to see what this actually physically looks like when it pops in a Google document. And now once we run the automation, we come over to what it's produced. And this is the image that it's given us based on what we're discussing and in the style that we like. We come down here, for example, and it's gotten all the, all the text, which I just formatted briefly here so we can actually make sense of what it is. But fundamentally, guys, this is insane. And look at this, it's even included all the hashtags relevant, completely included for you. So if you were like, you know what? Yeah, that sounds good. Copy it, paste it straight into LinkedIn. Unless you go for the other automation and all you do is copy it and then you're ready to basically post on LinkedIn and it'll do the same thing for Twitter. Um, you can do it for Instagram, Facebook, any social media platform that you like. And another create inspired me to try this approval system. So what we'll do is we'll basically have the YouTube URL here, the summary here, and then all these bespoke posts pointing in here that we can approve or send through from the automation. And that's the whole thing. So every time I post a YouTube video now, I can get it transposed into all the different short form content for my social media. And I don't need to worry about that. And I can get all the content summarized for me if I just don't have the time. Let me know down below if what your thoughts are on this and what you'd like to see automated next. UFC 300 tonight for those MMA fans out there. So guys, have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next time.